Hello. So, welcome to my room, and I don't really have any idea what to talk to you about, but for now, let's just talk about my idea of the ideal religion. Huh? Well, frankly speaking, I don't use the term religion, I accept the term belief. It's a very thin line between religion and politics, and I'm not going to be a part of that. Many people are so much into the fanatic idea, which always keeps me wondering, why? I mean, do you really like the idea of um, converting people? I mean, when, when God was walking the earth, does he really do conversion? I don't think so. I think he preaches, but he doesn't really tell people what to do with their lives. But he just teach them. There's nothing wrong with teaching, but there is something wrong with forcing something to people. And I think that's wrong. Don't you think? I mean, Christ would enforce anything to just about anybody. And as for us, my kind, I'm weakened, but I don't force people to be me. I don't force anybody to be me. And certainly, I don't want people telling me what to do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the reason that our Maker made this a brain of our own is for us to start thinking about ourselves and uh, make our own decisions. I just wish that people would understand that part. I mean, I'm happy with my God and my Goddess. Why can't you be happy with yours? You know what I'm saying? You're, 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 what we're talking about is your personal relationship with your Maker. I have found mine. I hope everybody would find theirs as well. So I hope that everybody has a good day. This is Lady Dana. Thank you very much for listening.